Chromotherapy, sometimes called color therapy, colorology or chromotherapy, is an alternative medicine method, which is considered pseudoscience. Chromotherapists claim to be able to use light in the form of color to balance energy lacking from a person's body, whether it be on physical, emotional, spiritual, or mental levels. Color therapy is distinct from other types of light therapy, such as neonatal jaundice treatment and blood irradiation therapy which is a scientifically accepted medical treatment for a number of conditions, and from photobiology, the scientific study of the effects of light on living organisms. The potential risk of retinal damage linked to chromotherapy has been shown by French skeptic and lighting physicist Sébastien Point. Although Point considers that LED lamps at domestic radiance are safe in normal use for the general population, he also pointed out the risk of overexposure to light from LEDs for practices like chromotherapy. When duration and time exposure are not under control, chromotherapy is a pseudoscience which makes weak claims on being able to treat certain ailments. The individuals who try to pass this off as a therapy have given themselves the title of a chromotherapist. These individuals make claims that are not backed up by experimental, peer-reviewed research that when exposed to certain hues people can feel better physically or mentally. This type of therapy has become a recent trend in the health and spa area. There are many blog articles example, https colon slash slash health dot howstuffworks dot com slash wellness slash spa dash health slash color dash therapy dot htm closing parenthesis published which express praise towards this type of activity and the use of it as a treatment, although, this does not mean that this therapy is legitimate or safe. These articles claim that color therapy is a holistic and non-invasive treatment, they claim that practitioners agree with the results of this therapy, yet they provide no references. The individuals who spread false evidence about this therapy claim that the colors are reflected on our retinas then our brains interpret the information which then cause hormonal and biochemical processes in our body that can immediately calm and stimulate us. This pseudoscientific therapy being advertised as a legitimate procedure is dangerous. This practice is harmful on many levels, not only do individuals pay an immense amount of money for some of these sessions it could deter individuals from spending money and resources on actual medical practices that have been backed by scientific research. Topic. History Avicenna 980-1037, seeing color as of vital importance both in diagnosis and in treatment, discussed chromotherapy in the canon of medicine. He wrote that, "...color is an observable symptom of disease." and also developed a chart that related color to the temperature and physical condition of the body. His view was that red moved the blood, blue or white cooled it, and yellow reduced muscular pain and inflammation. American Civil War General Augustus Pleasanton (1801–1894) conducted his own experiments and in 1876 published his book *The Influence of the Blue Ray of the Sunlight and of the Blue Color of the Sky* about how the color blue can improve the growth of crops and livestock and can help heal diseases in humans. This led to modern chromotherapy, influencing scientist Dr. Seth Pancoast (1823–1889) and Edwin Dwight Babbitt (1828–1905) to conduct experiments and to publish, respectively, *Blue and Red Light* or *Light and Its Rays as Medicine* (1877) and *The Principles of Light and Color* in 1933. Indian-born American citizen scientist Dinsha P. Gaudiali (1873–1966) published the Spectrochromometry Encyclopedia, a work on color therapy. 
Gaudiali claimed to have discovered why and how the different colored rays have various therapeutic effects on organisms. He believed that colors represent chemical potencies in higher octaves of vibration, and for each organism and system of the body there is a particular color that stimulates and another that inhibits the work of that organ or system. Gaudiali also thought that by knowing the action of the different colors upon the different organs and systems of the body, one can apply the correct color that will tend to balance the action of any organ or system that has become abnormal in its functioning or condition. Dinsha P. Gaudiali's son Darius Dinsha continues to provide information about color therapy via his Dinsha Health Society, a non-profit organization dedicated to advancing non-pharmaceutical home color therapy, and his book Let There Be Light. Science writer Martin Gardner had described Gaudiali as perhaps the greatest quack of them all. In 1925, Gaudiali was accused of rape and arrested in Seattle and sentenced under the Mann Act for five years at the United States Penitentiary, Atlanta. According to Gardner, photographs of Gaudiali at work in his laboratory are "...indistinguishable from stills of a grade D movie about a mad scientist." Throughout the 19th century, "...color healers." claimed colored glass filters could treat many diseases including constipation and meningitis. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Colored chakras. Practitioners of Ayurvedic medicine believe the body has 7 chakras which some claim are spiritual centers, and which are held to be located along the spine. New Age thought associates each of the chakras with a single color of the visible light spectrum, along with a function and organ or bodily system. According to this view, the chakras can become imbalanced and result in physical diseases, but application of the appropriate color can allegedly correct such imbalances. The purported colors and their associations are described as topic. Scientific reception Chromotherapy is regarded by health experts as quackery, according to a book published by the American Cancer Society. Available scientific evidence does not support claims that alternative uses of light or color therapy are effective in treating cancer or other illnesses. Photobiology, the term for the scientific study of the effects of light on living tissue, has sometimes been used instead of the term chromotherapy in an effort to distance it from its roots in Victorian mysticism and to strip it of its associations with symbolism and magic. Light therapy is a specific treatment approach using high-intensity light to treat specific sleep, skin and mood disorders. Topic. See also Color puncture List of ineffective cancer treatments List of topics characterized as pseudoscience <laughs>